so hello everyone today we are going to discuss the preparation properties and structure of di cobalt octa carbonyl so let us start so first preparation is we can prepare it by direct combination of carbon monoxide with cobalt metal and we get the product and it can be prepared by carbonylating cobalt sulfide or cobalt iodide with carbon monoxide in the presence of copper metal or by carbonylating cobalt carbonate with carbon monoxide in the presence of hydrogen gas copper and hydrogen both act as reducing agent so these are the methods of preparation of dicobalt octacarbonyl now properties so it is an orange brown crystalline substance having melting point 51 degrees celsius it is soluble in alcohol ether and carbon tetrachloride it is air sensitive both in solid state as well as in solution states now action of heat so it is thermally decomposed at 50 degree celsius in an inert atmosphere to give tetra cobalt dodeca carbonyl that is co4 co12 now action of air on exposure to air it is converted into deep violet basic carbonate of cobalt now action of hydrogen when co2 co8 reacts with hydrogen gas at 165 degree celsius and 200 atmosphere pressure it gets reduced to cobalt carbonyl hydride in this case hydrogen is plus 1 and cobalt is minus 1 oxidation state of cobalt is changing from 0 to minus 1 okay now action of sodium metal in liquid ammonia so when co2 co8 reacts with sodium metal in liquid ammonia below minus 75 degree celsius keep in mind below minus 75 degree celsius it gets reduced to carbonylate anion where cobalt is in minus 1 oxidation state from 0 to minus 1 now disproportionation reaction so there are two types of disproportionation reactions first is strong bases having nitrogen or oxygen donor atoms they cause disproportionation to give cobalt in plus 2 and minus 1 oxidation state and this is the example and second is with isocyanides or phosphines even arsines stevines disproportionation gives penta coordinated cobalt one cations cobalt in plus 1 oxidation state and here cobalt is in minus 1 from 0 okay so these are the two disproportionation reactions first with strong base then it gives cobalt in plus 2 and minus 1 oxidation state with isocyanides phosphines or cyanes and stevines it gives penta coordinated complex where cobalt is in plus 1 oxidation state and minus 1 okay then action of no so co2 co8 reacts with no at 40 degree celsius to form cobalt carbonyl nitrosyl where no is in plus 1 state and cobalt in minus 1 oxidation state thus in this reactions oxidation state of cobalt decreases from 0 in carbonyl to minus 1 in nitrosyl okay now action of halogens so with halogens it decompose into cox2 and co according to this reaction 
okay so this is about the properties now structure structure of co2 co8 is very very important from the competitive exam point of view reason being in solution it exists in these isomeric forms which are in equilibrium so these are the two isomeric forms see if in first case two co are bridging and in the second case there is no bridging co group first has bridge structure while the other has non bridge structure and bridge structure has bridging carbonyl groups six terminal 1 2 3 4 5 six terminal carbonyl groups and one co co bond metal metal bond cobalt cobalt bond distance in this structure has been found to be 2.52 angstrom and in this structure coordination number of each cobalt atom is see what is the coordination number 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so coordination number of each cobalt is 6 as both cobalt are d2 sp3 hybridized both are d2 sp3 hybridized so let us let us write its valence bond theory you know electronic configuration of cobalt is 3d7 4s2 now when co approaches the cobalt then one of the electron from 4s is shifted to 3d so it is like this now and same in the case with other cobalt h cobalt undergoes d2 sp3 hybridization now one of the singly filled d2 sp3 hybrid orbital of cobalt overlap with each other and form sigma bond because of dd overlapping that is called delta bond it is one type of sigma bond only okay after getting this now two singly filled d2 sp3 remaining two singly filled d2 sp3 hybrid orbital overlap with co to form bridging co groups and three empty d2 sp3 hybrid orbitals on each cobalt overlap with co to form terminal co groups so they form coordinate bonds right three coordinate bonds from each co singly filled d2 sp3 hybrid orbital on each cobalt they overlap with each other to form delta bond metal metal bond okay so this is as per the old theory now modern approach so as per the modern approach cobalt you know electronic configuration of cobalt in ground state is 3d7 4s2 4p0 and in the excited state it is 3d7 4s1 and 4p1 each cobalt undergoes d2 sp3 hybridization two singly filled d2 sp3 hybrid orbital overlap with co two bridging co the co overlaps with d2 sp3 hybrid orbital of each cobalt and then there is a one metal metal delta bond between cobalt atoms where the singly filled d2 sp3 hybrid orbital of each cobalt overlap with each other and remaining singly filled d2 sp3 hybrid orbital of each cobalt form sigma bond with co and one pi bond one sigma bond and one pi bond pi bond by overlapping with the unhybridized d orbital of cobalt and we left with two vacant d2 sp3 hybrid orbital of cobalt 
which form coordinate bond with CO. It is like this. Now let us discuss this isomeric forms. In solution, they exist in these two isomeric forms and at low temperature, at very low temperature, bridge structure predominates. It predominates at very low temperature. Okay. And as the temperature raised, non bridge structure appears. It appears at high temperature. But in solid state, as per the X ray study, only bridge structure is applicable. So, we can say in solid state, bridge structure, which is similar to that one of the isomeric forms in solid bridge structure, that is isoformic, isomeric form 1, that is formed in solid state, CO2, CO8 exist as a bridge structure, that is like this. Okay. And in solution, I have told you earlier, so these two isomeric forms are available, they exist in equilibrium, these two isomeric forms are in equilibrium with each other, and because these two isomeric forms are, have little difference in their energies and exist in equilibrium with each other in a given solution. But at very low temperature, this form predominates and as the temperature is raised, means at high temperature, non-bridge structure is the main isomeric forms in solution. As per electron diffraction study, the various bond lengths are in this order. Cobalt cobalt bond length is 2.52 angstrom. Now, cobalt carbon bridging and cobalt carbon terminal, you know, in case of bridging, cobalt carbon is single bond, but in case of terminal, there is back donation. So, there is a double bond character. That is why cobalt carbon bridging is larger than the terminal. Now, come to carbon oxygen. So, carbon oxygen bond in bridging, there is a double bond character. But in terminal, there is a triple bond character, means less than triple bond because of back bonding, I mean back donation, but rather it is more than a double bond, okay. That is why CO terminal has lower bond length, lesser bond length than that of, than that of carbon oxygen bridging. So, that is all about the structure of CO2, CO8. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do like, subscribe and share my channel. God bless you all. Happy learning. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat.